All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna do a startup demo on the M1 gasifier. Um, this is a charcoal unit, and there is the lump charcoal I made for this machine. Now, uh, this will come with a an adapter to convert a a metal pail like just like that into a retort. And that'll double as a as a cook stove, so you'll be able to cook on on this thing while you're making your charcoal. And then uh, how you use it is that you'll burn your uh, your your foliage down. This will run basically on foliage that you could uh, find in the, at a campsite or wherever. You break it up, fuel up your retort. And you can cook on it or just make uh, charcoal in bulk. And uh, once you burn it down, you uh, will we'll have a second bucket that you'll uh, dump it into and then place a lid on it and seal it off from oxygen and let it go out. And then what you'll end up with is fuel ready to run in your gas fire. Now, the beauty of that is you don't need this or any other type of equipment to uh, produce fuel for your machine. All you need is that bucket. Alright, so um, unfortunately my batteries are all shot. These are all batteries from my my off-grid system and they've all pretty much failed. So I am going to have to run the generator on gasoline temporarily to power my blower. Um, but normal circumstances, I would have a good battery using the generator to keep it charged to run the blower to start the gas fire. So it would be difficult to hear me, so uh, bear with me uh, through the noise. I guess you'll just have to watch the, the procedure. I should show you the, uh, all right, so how you fill this is you'll have a funnel and Basically, you'll dump fuel into it just like that until it's full. I don't know if you can see in there. So that's about full. Inside of here is a silicon bag filter. Um, it's pretty much filtering at the micron level. So all the dust is uh, being filtered out. And that's really all you need. Um, this here is high temperature hose because the gas is exiting hot so that you want a long hose to cool it but you don't got to worry about condensate dropping or anything like that um, as this gas is uh, fairly dry and uh, you know that's it it's, you know, it doesn't get any simpler or more compact than this and uh, charcoal is by far uh, much more consistent than a, than a wood gas direct wood gas fire. Uh, you just can't you just can't do that with with, with direct wood gas. It's, it's impossible. Um. All right, so let's go through the startup procedure again. Sorry for the having to start this with a generator, but it's my only means for right now. So uh, let's get this thing started up. So I'm gonna try to get you where everything's in frame.
Hopefully you can hear me. Good and stable. And this will run for roughly a half an hour. Uh, fuel capacity is roughly one and a half gallon. Uh, if you want a longer run time, I would suggest going to a smaller generator. I mean, for, for what this is, that generator is way overkill. Um, so, yeah, I think a, a four kilowatt generator would be uh, would fit this application much better. That'll, that'll probably get you about an hour run time. Alright guys, well that's all for now. Thanks for watching.